get out those eclipse glasses and cross your fingers for clear skies. A rare solar eclipse is coming to New Hampshire. The last one we had here in New Hampshire wasn't uh, way back in the 1950s, it was in 1959. Um, so the fact that this is happening again right here in our state is incredibly special. Amanda Leith from the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center in Concord says on the afternoon of April 8th, all of New Hampshire will experience a partial solar eclipse. It will look like dusk. And in Coas County, they will have a total eclipse. For a few minutes, the moon will block out the sun. We'll be able to see stars in the daytime. Uh, planets will be out as well. And you'll actually get to see the sun's corona, which is not possible to see on a regular day. Like many places, they'll be hosting a viewing party here, where safe eclipse viewers will be available. Even our own WMUR cameras will be outfitted with a special lens to capture the view. It's so rare, people will travel great distances to see it. There are people called eclipse chasers who they will go and try to view every solar eclipse that's happening um, either in the world or just in their country. We took a drive to Coas County into the path of totality where tens of thousands of people could descend on that second Monday in April. First stop, downtown Lancaster, known as the snowmobile capital of the world. It should be quite a increase in the population and quite an increase in action. So we're excited about that. Brian and Ruby Berryman run the Lancaster Motel, a retro drive up that originally opened in 1955. It now features a lounge and cigar room with a secret entrance. Everything's round in here, just round like the sun. <laughs> We're vibing off of all that. Breaking news, they are offering a weekend all-inclusive package for the solar eclipse. Rooms that are often filled with snowmobilers will be filled with eclipse fans. We are going to be ground zero, the official place to be in Lancaster for, for the, the eclipse. So this is your shot. <laughs> this is your shot. Sometimes you never know when it's your shot, but this time you, you know, actually this know. is your shot. Down the street at the Granite Grind coffee shop, Hello. <laughs> Kelly Murphy says the restaurant is loading up in case they see big crowds. Now on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you for the solar eclipse? Oh, super excited. <laughs> Yeah, very, very excited. We've been excited for about two years now. Known for putting fun, localized names on their food items, they've already got an Eclipse menu ready, including these special Eclipse cookies. The completely Black Forest cake, Eclipse eclairs, moon pies, total darkness latte, and a lunar latte. So this is a chance to literally eat the Eclipse that day? Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and drink it with lattes. Next, we took a drive to Colebrook, about 10 miles from the Canadian border. This small town of about 2,000 people is used to a steady stream of ATV and snowmobile tourism. For the eclipse... All of the lodging facilities are completely sold out. Town manager Tim Stevens sees this as good news. This natural event comes at a time when tourism dollars typically drop off. The potential is there for a huge economic impact because it's dead smack in the middle of mud season. Town Hall is even selling t-shirts with Colebrook spelling out the path of totality and those essential eclipse glasses. But they say it's gonna be phenomenal when the, when the moon goes in front of it. On the day of the eclipse, there are concerns for heavy traffic on these roads, which is why they canceled school for the day. The town is also setting up designated parking areas here with porta potties too. So we advise people to get here early and, and uh, uh, get set up, um, but just to have, have respect for other people's property. Next, we head to New Hampshire's northernmost town, Pittsburgh. 
known for its natural beauty and lots of outdoor recreation and beautiful lakes. Tourism is our major industry and the influx being snowmobile season, ATV season, and now eclipse season on April 8th. Police Chief Richard Doobie says when totality hits, they could have thousands of tourists here. They're actually setting up a command center at the fire department for possible emergencies, like cars getting stuck on muddy roads. He's urging people to be ready for limited resources when they arrive. To have food, make sure you, your tanks are full, uh, clothing, warm clothing, etc. Well, it means a crowd and a half for sure, <laughs> from what we hear. Kim Fotu and Kelly DeBillis run up north, right on Main Street. The clothing and gift store opened a couple of years ago. To us, we would always say we're headed up north, up north, up north, so that's where up north came from. It's grown. Now they ship their New Hampshire themed products all over the country. The Eclipse was a perfect chance to make up some unique gifts celebrating this rare solar event. Yeah, we have sweatshirts, we have t-shirts, things for the kids, we have Christmas ornaments, stickers, all kinds of little Cozies. souvenirs. Yeah. Up North will be open Monday, April 8th, ready to welcome shadow-seeking tourists who for a few moments will experience darkness in the day. There's definitely a communal um, engagement that happens. Everyone that views an eclipse together, you have this different form of, of energy because it's something that you really don't see. The next total solar eclipse in New Hampshire won't happen until 2079.